Namaste everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shubham Alok and today I am going to talk of a, like one of the very important topics in Vedic Astrology which people generally don't pay much attention to. And that is Dasha Sandhi. So Sandhi basically means a joint. A joint. And because it is not a normal structure, it is a joint. It is given to weakness. As it happens with any joint. Any joint in astrology, be it a joint between two Rashis, a joint between two Nakshatras or a joint between two Tithis, which is known as Gandant. Is not considered very auspicious, but is considered very inauspicious. And so happens with a join between two dashas. Now there is one thing that is very clear that this dasha sandhi happens between mahadashas only. So what basically happens when one mahadasha is ending and another mahadasha is starting? The time when this mahadasha is ending and new mahadasha is starting one year period is considered as dasha sandhi now if the dasha is less than 10 years like in the case of sun dasha mars dasha etc the dasha sandhi is 6 month in the previous dasha and 6 month in the next dasha whereas if the dasha is bigger than 10 years that happens with uh, you say saturn dasha venus dasha rahu dasha in that scenario, Dasha Sandhi is one year in the previous Dasha and one year in the next Dasha, making a total of two years. Now, this Dasha Sandhi is very crucial. And there are many implications of this Dasha Sandhi on many areas of life. We will discuss that today. But primarily speaking, <clears throat> you have to understand a few things with respect to dashas. A dasha, though it is primarily used for timing of events and to know when what will happen. But moreover that there is a method of dasha rectification in classics as well. Because there are many dashas and it can be confusing which dasha one is going into. So the sages have developed this method. The crux of that particular method is that the nature, behavior, thinking, etc. of the native is according to the dasha only. Mahadasha primarily in question, Antardasha also takes precedence into it, but Antardasha is more focused on timing events, whereas Mahadasha is more focused on shaping the approach likes, dislikes of the native. So basically the point is every planet have a few qualities. You see, when you talk of the Shah result, there is whatever yogas the planet is making, the result of that yoga is going to come. Wherever the planet is situated in the result of that house and that Rashi is going to come. Planet is lord of one particular house. It is situated in another house. The result of that placement is also going to come. All these results are going to come in. Dasha. And these are related to the events that are going to happen. How things are going to unfold in a Dasha Antarvasha. But apart from this particular fact, planets also have particular nature. For an example, sun is not egoistic, sun is self-confidence, sun wants authority, sun wants people to obey them. And when you go through sun Mahadasha, the same is your trait. You want respect and appreciation from people. You want people to obey you. Because sun is a fiery planet, you get short-tempered. You want to achieve everything very quickly. And because sun is a kingly planet, you also have a kingly approach in life where you want to enjoy things more. Right? Sun is bilious in nature, so particularly in Sun Mahadasha Antartasha, you want to have hot food, spicy food, right? And because Sun is kingly, you also get, you know, much prone towards having a vehicle, purchasing a vehicle, you know, authority and superiority in life becomes your prime preference. On the other hand, when you are going through Moon Dasha, your approach becomes like Moon, so you become emotional, you become sensitive. 
you want to emotionally connect to people you want to understand the thoughts and desires of other people and because you are emotionally being sensitive to almost everything around you it also puts a spiritual spark into you right so though sun is the karka for soul it is the moon who gives you an spiritual spark other than that because moon is a watery planet in the mahadasha of moon one is also you know prone to gaining weight and because moon is a phlegmatic planet in the dasha antar dasha of in the mahadasha of moon you are more prone towards taking you know water based drinks juices cold coffee smoothies chocolate shakes and things like that and along with that you also want to you know you are very prone to eating sweet things because uh, moon indicates sweet and you are also very prone to eating things which are high in uh salt because moon indicates salt when it comes to the mahadasha of mars because mars is again a fiery planet mars indicates anger so in mars dasha you become short tempered because mars is commander in chief you also want to you know obey orders you want someone to guide you because mars is you know directly connected to the king in the mahadasha antar dasha of mars you also want your status to increase you want to have connection with people situated at high place in the society because mars is generous in the mahadasha antar dasha of mars the tendency of doing the donations you know being the the nature of generosity helping others helping the society opening an ngo helping people increases because mars also indicate loss of body parts you specifically become much sensitive towards people who have suffered an accident and towards helping them you know and along with this because mars is also connected to protection this is the time when you start thinking about your duties and responsibilities and how you can protect your family and members around you and members dependent on you what you should do to enhance the protection and all these things you think in this particular time period after mars dasha comes the rahu dasha now rahu is clever so in this dasha you feel like you are not, you should you should you know be shrewd to the society you should be a little bit more clever you should do things with a more more planning right so this is becomes your approach and because rahu drank the nectar in the rahu mahadasha antar dasha you also want to do things for which people will remember you after your death you want to become immortal in the society rahu also have great desire for name fame and status and in rahu dasha you also hanker for the same after rahu dasha will come the jupiter dasha and just because jupiter nikes akastatwa jupiter is a fat planet in the mahadasha antar dasha of jupiter one is very prone to increase weight because jupiter indicates sweet food one is very prone to take sweet foods because jupiter is related to wisdom one goes to acquire wisdom because jupiter indicates learning one learn new things because jupiter is into priestly works because jupiter is into worship in other areas you become religious you start visiting temples you become aware of spirituality and you want to develop spirituality in your life and these things you want to do in jupiter dasha after jupiter dasha comes the saturn dasha and at this point of time you become sensitive about daily workers you become sensitive towards your servants you want to serve the society you want to do you know things of welfare to the society you want that because of your work good things should happen to the society along with this because saturn is a lean planet you also lose weight in saturn dasha antar dasha because saturn indicate astringent taste you also like such taste after this comes the mercury dasha and because mercury indicates reading writing teaching and learning in mercury dasha you go on to acquire knowledge you start reading things gathering knowledge things related to knowledge you keep on doing and because mercury is a prince you also feel like prince you also feel that you are entitled towards thing you are entitled for a few things and you hanker to achieve them because mercury also indicates the social life your social circle increases you make new friends and you become popular 
along with this because mercury is a prince in the mahadasha antardasha of mercury you want to have things quickly in life and you are prone to thinking towards how you can increase your comfort level in life and how you can increase ease of living life after Mercury Dasha comes the Ketu Dasha and Ketu is an Udasin planet, not interested into anything. So suddenly in Ketu Dasha, what happens? You start losing interest even in those things which you enjoyed much before. This is the particular reason people say that Ketu Dasha is very transformative because your likes, dislikes, etc. are changing. Along with that, because Ketu is a headless planet, this is a particular time when you don't worry much about consequences and do thing, do things as you wish, do things which please you. Because Ketu is also related to spirituality. In Ketu Mahadasha Antardasha, people are also prone to think how to develop, how, you know, how to grow spiritually, uh, you know, spiritual initiations, going going into tradition of a particular guru, getting a mantra, etc. These things also happen. And lastly, in Venus Dasha, because Venus is the Karka for luxuries and enjoyment, you are more prone to achieving luxury and enjoyments in life. You are very much disposed towards thinking that if you are not collecting things of luxury in your life, you are living a life of waste. Because uh, Venus is a minister in the Mahadasha Antardasha of Venus. You tend to develop an approach in life where you want to advise everyone around you for their betterment and you also want people to listen to you because Venus is also a guru in the Mahadasha Antardasha of Venus. You actually want to guide people. You want to teach people. You want to share your skills with people. So basically saying in a nutshell, whatever is the signification of the planet, whatever is the nature of the planet, whatever is the liking of the planet, the type of food that the planet likes, the type of life that the planets indicate. Liking for these food, wanting this type of life for yourself, you develop when you go through the dasha antra dasha of planets. Your likes, dislikes, disposition change as per the nature of planet whose mahadasha you are going into. And because of this particular reason, you feel changes at mental, psychological, physical, and at multiple levels in your life. This also happens as per the Lagna Lord. Generally in your life, your approach is according to Lagna Lord. For this particular reason, you will generally see that Gemini or Virgo ascendant people feel themselves entitled for everything. They feel that people are around them to serve them. People around them should produce happiness for them because they think of themselves as a prince and they think that they are entitled for everything. Right? So the Lagna Lord makes your basic approach. But as you live life, as time goes by, your focus goes into different areas and this is signified by the Mahadasha Antardasha you are going into. And if your nature is not matching the Mahadasha Antardasha that you are going into, there is some problem with the calculation that is happening there. This is a classical tool which is suggested by sages to actually find out the real Dasha which the person is going into. And intelligent astrologers can also use it, uh, use this particular technique to check the authenticity of the Ainamsha that you are using and the Ainamsha that they are using and authenticity of all the techniques that they are using while calculating the horoscope, right? Because with the change in the Ainamsha and with the change in different settings, what will happen is the Dasha balance will change, right? Now, there is a thing. Now, the major thing that is happening, you know, you understand it this way. <clears throat> From a particular type of likes and dislikes in the Dasha Sandhi period, right? The Dasha is changing. You say Dasha is changing from sun to moon. So from someone who wants authority in life, who think that people should serve me. Now this person is in a transition phase of being more emotional. Now this person is in a transition phase where he will feel the pain of people, the wishes and desires of people when he will feel these things. Now this transitory phase, which is Dasha Antar Dasha, because your thoughts, your thinking, your likes, dislikes, your mental pattern is changing. 
is something which is discomforting right so this is the first thing that you should keep into mind when keep into mind whenever you are feeling discomfort whenever you are feeling that things are not going the way you want it to go whenever you are feeling that i want something else i don't know what i am doing my life is aimless why i am doing this why i am doing that whenever such issues come to your mind it is very probable that you are going through a dasha sandhi you know what happens i will tell you two three things about it you know generally if a child is going to take an educational stream once someone wanted to do an engineering now engineering is a four year long process for this person in two years the dasha was changing from mars dasha to saturn dasha it happens in one particular dasha this this is not vimshotri that i am talking about the dasha in two years was changing from mars dasha to saturn dasha this person have saturn connected to fifth house as well and for this native because of the placement of saturn in a particular rashi saturn indicates history and other such things but this person was telling me that sir i want to do engineering i told him that see dasha is changing and i am afraid that after 2 years you will not want to continue with engineering but you will want to do something else something related to saturn study related to history politics management you know management of people and labor international business is what you will like so my advice will be to choose according to the next dasha that you are going to face rather than depending on your current likes and dislikes because your likes and dislikes are going to change shortly and trust me today this person once every year drops me a message that sir i am so thankful to you that you have made me choose this now i am very happy with my choice this is a very you know this is a very old thing that i am telling you now this person is very successfully having a job where he is utilizing his knowledge related to saturn which he have acquired he thanks me every year telling me that sir if you haven't given me your precious guidance that particular day today my life would have been different you know this is reason behind multiple things people generally pass from college they take a particular education they go into a job and just one one and a half two years into the job they start feeling that their job is boring they want to do something else in life this is happening because they are not taking into account the next dasha antar dasha that is going to come and how their likes and dislikes and other things are changing in life so you know if you want satisfaction contentment happiness in your life what you should do is you should plan your life according to the next dasha antar dasha that you are going into and my advice is to not use vimshotri always but to use the dasha antar dasha which is applicable in horoscope if you want to know which dasha antar dasha is applicable in your horoscope the correct dasha antar dasha because you know only when you use correct dasha antar dasha you can time events with confidence otherwise like 98% of the astrologers in the world you will keep on struggling with vimshotri dasha never being able to predict events with accuracy and confidence and this will force you to choose other systems of astrology such as nadi astrology or kp astrology which will further add to your confusion and further will make you lose your confidence even more on vedic astrology if you seriously want to learn how to choose the right dasha antar dasha and make and do timing of events with confidence accuracy and ease you should seriously consider joining my dasha bheda course i am doing the last third la third and the last batch of the course from the 4th of november which you should join and even if you join late and miss a few classes there is no issue at all the recordings of the previous classes will be provided to you now coming back to my particular point you know what i have seen in life is that the reason of failure for 80% of the people in life is because when they take decisions when they 
pledge to do something, when they start to do something, they don't take into consideration the dasha antar dashas that they are going into right now and the dasha antar dasha that they are going to face in future. So this becomes the reason behind their failure. You know, someone who is going through the dasha of a very weak planet, you say, someone is going through the dasha antar dasha of a planet who is combust. In that period, the person gets a business idea and he comes to you for a partnership or an investment. Now you don't take up, take the help of astrology and rather get swayed by the words of the person and you put an investment or you give an consent to have a partnership. Now what will happen because this person is having a dream in the dasha of a planet who is combust which is basically going to give bad result. Whatever happened two, three years down the lane, whatever he have planned, his planning will not turn out to turn out to you know fructify the way he has supposed it to. What will happen in turn? He will turn into failure. His ideas will be a scrap, and you will be struck later on. So for this particular reason, it is very important, it is very essential, it is very necessary to take the nature of the dasha antar dasha into consideration. 80% of the time, you know, someone is going through the dasha of, you say, Saturn. The Saturn dasha is to go for, you say, four or five more years. But the person at this current point of time thinks that I am not happy with my job, I want to change it, I want to do some business. If the person does the business right now, because Saturn Dasha is there for four or five more years and Saturn supports employment more, not business, what will happen for four or five years, he will suffer into business, will not be able to make any profit. When Mercury Dasha will come, he will be able to make profit, business will be good for him. But right now, what you have to think that if, he, if I don't make profit for next four years, will I be able to survive? If yes, then you should start it right now. If not, then wait for four or five years, think more over the plan, have more investment and start a business when Mercury Dasha starts. This way, making decisions in your life according to Dasha Antar Dasha will ensure that you remain successful in life. Otherwise, there will be issues. Coming to my topic of Dasha Sandhi, generally what happens in Dasha Sandhi, you feel aimless you feel frustrated and because it is a time of transition, your likes, dislikes, preferences, etc. are changing. You suffer through a little bit of problems as well. What I have noticed because the temperament of the body is also changing. Planets have their own temperament, right? Some are bile, some are bilious planets, some are phlegmatic planets, some are windy, airy planets. Because the Bodily temperament is also changing. Dasha Shandhi is generally the time when people have a lot of health problems as well. Along with feeling aimless in life. Along with having questions like, I don't know why I am doing this. I earlier used to like it, but now I don't like it. And then a strong urge to change things. And a strong urge to change from job to business, change from business to job, sell their property, move into a new city. And a strong urge for change comes there. But because this is an unstable time, because this is a time when your likes, dislikes and thoughts will keep on changing every moment, I will advise you to refrain from it. I will advise you to stay away from it and only make great changes in your life, only take decisions in your life when the Dasha Sandhi period is over. Otherwise, there can be issues and your plan may not turn out to fructify the way that you have planned it, leading you into a situation which you haven't thought about before, which will be a difficult condition to be in. Not only this, Dasha Sandhi is so important. Dasha Sandhi is so important that in the case of matchmaking, and you know, people generally ignored it, generally ignores it. But whenever I teach of matchmaking, whenever I teach of marriage, this is so important that I never forget to mention it. While matching a horoscope, because you know Dasha Sandhi is a time when the likes, dislikes and everything is changing. The life is completely changing. It is a transition period. 
when you are turning from a caterpillar into a butterfly while matching the horoscope you have to keep into consideration that the couple does not come does not meet the shasandhi together if it happens that under the span of one year the dasha is changing for both the couple both the persons in the couple it is very likely that this dasha sandhi will be very disruptive for their relationship and 8 and 98% of the cases when the change of dasha for both the partners happen simultaneously under the span of one year it generally breaks their marriage and in 2% cases where it doesn't break the marriage it leaves such strong scars and such strong bad experiences in their marriage that they are not able to cope up like before gel up like before love like before ever in their lives so it is very necessary even while matching horoscopes to keep in mind that both the couple the male partner and the female partner are not going through the sasanti simultaneously under the span of one year if their dashas are changing more than one year apart then it's all okay but the dashas of both changing under one year is not good at all in the period of dasha sandhi dasha sandhi also comes with good things you know dasha sandhi is the best time to do remedy for the next dasha so what happens you know the best time for donation is the junction in between the day so early morning is the best time for spiritual sadhana evening is the best time for spiritual sadhana and these are the junctions right so junctions are good for spiritual sadhana junctions are good for donation junctions are good for worship junctions are good for meditation so what happens as a good effect of the shasandhi when you are going through the shasandhi you make huge spiritual progress if you are wishing to get initiation from some tradition if you are finding guru the shasandhis are the periods which gives you maximum success if you dasha sandhi is the best time if you are going through dasha sandhi or if you are shortly going to have a dasha sandhi make sure that you do remedy of the planet whose dasha is going to come next right now in the dasha sandhi period the simple remedy done for 6 month or 1 year depending on how much the dasha sandhi is will ensure that the complete part of the next coming dasha is very peaceful and very good for you and it will eradicate maximum of the evil because it is the best time to do the remedy also if in the dasha sandhi period a major transit is happening specifically if the dasha sandhi like you see you are going through sandasha today and one year from today sorry one month before or after today if saturn is also going into the rashi of sun either saturn going into leo or saturn going into that rashi where your natal sun is situated into then you know what it does it locks the period generally you will see i have also noticed it like i i have seen it so i am telling you that you will see that one person went through a particular transit for someone you know saturn came to the 11th house in 11th house jupiter was there now jupiter in 11th house indicate a good income so jupiter was there in the 11th house in the rashi of mercury this person was going in this person was to go into mercury dasha in 3 days and just 3 days before saturn entered into this sign of mercury in 11th house where jupiter is situated in from this time to the next 30 years till saturn comes back to this 11th house this person earned a lot of money this good transit money giving transit of saturn was locked for coming 30 years the dasha changed from mercury dasha to different dasha 
the next dasha which came after mercury dasha was bad financially but this person continued to earn good money because the transit that was locked was a very good transit so dasha sandhi have another uses that if at the time of dasha sandhi one month before dasha sandhi and one month after the exact date when the dasha is changing if saturn or jupiter is transiting or you know have entered not transiting have entered the rashi of that planet the rashi owned by that planet or have entered the rashi or is entering the rashi where that planet is situated in your natal chart then whatever is the result of that transit whether it is good or bad is fixed for the transit period of that planet is fixed for the coming 30 years in the case of saturn and is fixed for the coming 12 years for the case of jupiter there are many such noble uses of dasha sandhi that helps you in timing of events that i will teach in depth in the dasha veda course about which i have talked about in this particular video i just wanted to warn general public you people and educate you regarding the importance of dasha sandhi what to expect out of dasha sandhi and just wanted to tell you that dasha sandhi is a time when your likes dislikes preferences etc are going to change so if you are on the verge of making a great life impacting decision while going into dasha sandhi it is better to avoid it right now because the secret of success is taking right decisions at right point of time wrong decisions at wrong time have collapsed the greatest empires you don't do this mistake take the help of astrology and always remain fortunate in life thank you for watching my video namaskar